Hello everyone, welcome to today's lecture. In today's lecture, I will be showing you guys how to simulate gas oil processes using the conceptual design builder. Now, the conceptual design builder is a tool in Aspenisys that can be used to generate models for gas oil separation processes. Now, the concept here is that you don't have to start your simulation from scratch, which involves specifying components, adding fluid packages before entering the simulation environment to simulate properly. Here, all you need is just to specify key process data for your process parameters and ICS generates a model based on what you have specified. Now, the simulation generated by the conceptual design builder usually consists of four units, which include the gas oil separation, the gas compression, the gas sweetening, and dehydration. Right? So, each of these units have their subflow sheets in the simulation that will be generated by the conceptual design builder. Already, you know that gas oil separation is very important as it helps in separating oil and gas from contaminants. So this conceptual design builder can be used to model quickly different scenarios, different gas oil separation scenarios. Then it can also be used to optimize such uh, simulations and processes. So at this point, we'll be going to the simulation environment. Now the conceptual design builder can be found in the customized ribbon, which can be found in the startup environment the simulation environment or the properties environment for example this is the startup environment now you have the customized ribbon at the top left and then you have your conceptual design builder while for the simulation basis manager as the properties environment you have your conceptual design builder over here then you could also find it in the simulation environment which also has which also has the customized tab of which you can find the conceptual design builder so in this tutorial we'll be doing a simple simulation of a gas oil separation process now this is the problem statement an oil field produces crude with the following specifications that is to be processed in a gas oil separation plant. You have the gas oil ratio, the water oil ratio, the production rate, and then the number of stages for the gas oil separation. Right, so we'll be simulating this using the conceptual design builder. Now you go back to your simulation environment, or let's use this, the startup environment right the startup environment so you just click on the conceptual design builder yes so once you click on it this particular form comes up where you can make all your specifications you have the high level project description where you can specify the pro project name the description of the project and give other details such as the asset location, asset type, field type, the asset ownership, population density, environmental sensitivity, etc. So for you could make some changes to this for population density for example you could just use high then political risk sensitivity could be low 
then environmental sensitivity you can leave it as medium right then you have your field conditions so if you have your um, reservoir data you could actually input them here right then you have miscellaneous and then ambient conditions but this is just a basic simulation so will not be specifying all that then you have you have your project specification but before we go there in this um, miscellaneous you have your oil export method which is either pipeline or the tankers same with the gas export method then the condensate export method has oil pipeline or tanker then we have our project specification for project specification you can make changes to the oil field parameters this is actually where we'll be inputting the data from our simulation problem right then you can modify the molar gas composition if you do not or if you are not okay with the default values you could actually specify your personalized data here then you have the design conditions as well these are just default values from ISIS. you could actually change them to whatever you like then you have gas quality for exports then you have oil quality for exports you have the oil rate vapor pressure the oil true vapor pressure you could actually change these values and then specify which of them should be active right so from our problem statement we have a gas oil ratio of 200 water oil ratio of 0 0.02 we can specify that okay gas oil ratio is already at 200 then water oil ratio 0 0.02 then we have this should be 2000 from the problem should be 2000 barrel per day yes 2000 barrel per day so we change the unit barrel per day i think that should be all then okay number of stages of separation so we are done specifying this then the next tab you have is the production profile right so if you have the production details you could specify it here then we have the uh, i think the well data next this is blank the well data if you have if you also have the well information you could specify that right here then you have the design preferences so for these design preferences it helps you specify details of each of those units that were mentioned each of the units mentioned the the gas oil separation the gas compression sweetening and the hydration unit so you specify details of that right here in the design preferences so for example the separation should be a three-stage separation which would include the high pressure separator low pressure separator and then medium pressure separator right then you have the stabilizer column the export gas compression all these are forms where you can specify details of these units which are supposed to be in the subflow sheets so now you already know that the more values you specify the more accurate the simulation will be so it's better to have detailed information of all these parameters in order to get a very good simulation from ISIS. so you get to specify the co2 and h2s removal which is actually in the sweetening unit then you have the gas lift compression the gas injection compression the gas dehydration and then the export pipelines so you are expected to actually specify all this before you run the process right but in this case we don't have such data so we just run it like that 
right but the more data you specify the more accurate the simulation will be so once you are done specifying everything you need to specify you click on run design case which is at the top left so you just click on run design case So once it is ro done running, you see the status, it says creating and solving compression flow sheets, subflow sheets. So it's still running. Okay, so once it's done running, you see the status, design case completed. So you go back to your, you look for the simulation environment, which is this. It will just be beside the conceptual design tab right so this is the simulation now the simulation here is quite messy because it involves a lot of uh, sub flow sheet so you may want to arrange it properly just to make the flow sheet neat right so in my case i already arranged one which is this so if you are able to arrange it properly you could turn this into this right here so you have the different um, units which are subflow sheets like I earlier mentioned the GOSP, the gas compression, gas sweetening and dehydration. So you could actually enter any of these subflow sheet environments to have a better view of them. Now you go to home. Okay, we are already in uh, flow sheet modifier. So you just click, you left click on that particular uh, unit you want to get into then you enter your flow sheet modify once you click on it once you left click the enter sub flow sheet environment becomes active so you just click on it and it takes you there to the sub flow sheet now we can zoom to get a better view of this so this is the gas compression unit the gas compression unit let's see I want to make this quite larger okay low, so you have low pressure you have medium pressure and then what else do you have here let me see okay so your your feed is at 2500 then 120 and then you have your products you have your product at uh, 9000 kpa so this is your gas compression unit then we can still go back to the main uh, flow sheet this is for gas compression then for the gas oil separation you could get into the subflow sheet as well now this is for the three phase separation the three phase you have the high pressure separation you have the medium pressure separation and then you have the low pressure separation and if you check you will see the pressure here is 5000 kpa pressure here is 2500 and the pressure here is 120 kpa so you have the three stages of the gas oil separation right you could click on their products to see to see the composition and the process conditions right then could we'll go back to the parent flow sheet that's for gas oil separation then you have gas oil you have gas sweetening okay yes this is also another method of getting to the subflow sheet so you could double click you could double click on that and then click on this and it takes you to the 
subflow sheet environment so this is for gas sweetening so for gas sweetening you have h2s remover right let's check click on composition now h2s here is 0.0046 so let's check the outlet of this process you have for the top you have sweet gas now for sweet gas you would not have any h2s yes so here you have h2s as zero right so the h2s has been removed via this unit then we could still go back to the parent environment and then check the dehydration dehydration involves the removal of water from the gas so you click on subflow sheet environment and this is your unit process so you have inlet gas let's check the amount of water in the inlet gas you have 0 0.0004 that's quite low then i guess this would yeah so there's no gas there's no water in the product the product gas so these are the four units of the uh, simulation generated from the conceptual design builder we could still go back to the parent environment so this is how the conceptual design builder works so now if you have another scenario you want to still simulate you could still follow the same procedure and it will generate another flow sheet for you that is similar to this right so you could just quickly generate multiple flow sheets of gas oil separation processes without having to simulate it from the beginning by yourself and that is why this um, conceptual design builder is very important so with that we have come to the end of today's lecture i hope you gained some knowledge and my tip for you today is to keep on practicing as you practice you get better with the use of aspenices if you have comments or observations about this particular lecture you could drop them in the comment section you could like the video and then follow this channel for more lectures thank you and have a good day